GISP Unofficial Study Guide Conceptual Foundations Section 101 Understanding of Datums, Coordinate Systems, and Projections Georeferencing Georeferencing is associating a map or image, such as an aerial image, without spatial information, with spatial locations. Control points. Control points consist of multiple points. Control points come in pairs that match the spatial location with a point on an unreferenced image or map. Spatial reference system, or coordinate reference system, is a coordinate-based local, regional, or global system used to locate geographical entities. International Terrestrial Reference System The International Terrestrial Reference System is a three-dimensional coordinate system with a well-defined origin, the center of the mass of the Earth, and three orthogonal coordinate axes, X, Y, and Z. Map projection. Map projection transforms coordinates from a curved Earth to a flat map. An example of a map projection is the Universal Transverse Mercator, which is a global coordinate system that has zones that, uh, of six degree increments. Horizontal datum. A horizontal datum is a model of the Earth as a spheroid. It has two components, a reference ellipsoid and a set of survey points that both shape the spheroid and its relative position to Earth. Vertical datum. A vertical datum is a reference point for elevations of surfaces and features on the Earth. A vertical datum could be based on tidal information, sea levels, gravimetric, or based on a geoid. NAVD88 is the North American vertical datum of 1988. It is a gravity-based geodetic datum in North America. Geodetic datum. A geodetic datum is a set of control points whose geometric relationships are known, either through measurement or calculation. WGS84, the World Geodetic System, is a reference coordinate system used by the Global Positioning System. A SRID integer is a spatial reference system ID number. An EPSG code is defined by the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers. A SRID Spatial Reference Identifier is a unique identifier associated with a specific coordinate system, tolerance, and resolution. An EPSG code is a unique identifier for different coordinate systems. It is a public registry of geodetic datums, spatial reference systems, earth ellipsoids, coordinate transformations, and related units of measurement. Each entity is assigned an EPSG code between 1024 and 32767. Four distortions. Distance, direction, shape, area. Distance distortion occurs when the distance between two points on the map is different from the actual distance on the Earth's surface. Direction distortion occurs when the direction from one place to another on the map is different from the actual direction on the Earth's surface. 
Shape distortion occurs when the shape of an object on the map is different from its actual shape on the Earth's surface. Area distortion occurs when the size of an area on the map is different from its actual size on the Earth's surface. Uh, the four types of distortion are distance, direction, shape, and area. The Mercator Projection The Mercator Projection preserves shape and direction, and area gets distorted. It projects Earth onto a cylinder tangent to a meridian. The Mercator projection preserves shape and direction, and area gets distorted. Azimuthal equidistant projection is planar or tangent. It is used for air root distances. Distances measured from the center are true. Distortion of other properties increases away from the center point. Cylindrical equal area projections. Cylindrical equal area projections preserve area and shape, and distance gets distorted near the upper and lower regions of the map. Straight meridians and parallels. Meridians are equally spaced, and the parallels are unequally spaced. Conic projections. Conic projections preserve direction and areas in limited areas. Conic projections distort distances and scale except along standard parallels. Conic projections are generated by producing a spherical surface onto a cone. Choosing a projection. Low latitude areas near the equator use a conical projection. Polar regions use an azimuthal planar projection. Broad in east to west extent, for example, the United States, uses a conical projection. Broad in north to south, for example, Africa, uses a transverse case cylindrical projection. Thematic. If you are doing an analysis that compares different values in different locations, typically an equal area projection will be used. Section 101 Supplemental Lecture 4 PowerPoint Lecture 4 Georeferencing <clears throat> Georeferencing is the act of assigning locations to atoms of information. Georeferencing is essential in GIS, since all information must be linked to the Earth's surface. The method of georeferencing must be unique, in that it links information to exactly one location, shared, so different users understand the meaning of the georeference, and persistent through time so today's georeferences are still meaningful tomorrow. Uniqueness. A georeference may be unique only within a defined domain, not globally. For example, there are many instances of Springfield in the United States, but only one in any state. Some georeferences are metric. They define location using measurements of distance from fixed places. Others are based on ordering. 
for example, street addresses in most parts of the world, order houses along streets. Others are nominal. Place names do not involve ordering or measuring. Georeferencing systems include place names, postal addresses and postal codes, linear referencing systems, cadastres, latitude and longitude, projections and coordinate systems, and the global positioning system. Place names are the earliest form of georeferencing. Gould and Tobler's experiment, an experiment in geocoding. There are many ways of naming places. Latitude and longitude coordinates and house number with street name or two, among many others. Peter Gould and Waldo Tobler conducted a little experiment in the 1980s to demonstrate this. They sent envelopes on which they had typed their name along with the geographical, geographical coordinates of his house to 34 colleagues throughout the world. The envelopes contained only a blank piece of paper. The instructions to his friends were to add stamps and put the envelopes into the local postal system. Four of the letters arrived but came to the university office because of the professor title on the letters. In some cases, the postal clerks added the name Santa Barbara to the envelopes. Some of the letters were routed through unexpected places. They do not know how many envelopes were actually mailed, but believe most were sent. Where do postal addresses fail as georeferences? In rural areas? for natural features, like lakes, mountains, and rivers, and in Japan, where numbering on streets is not sequential. Linear referencing. Linear referencing is a system for georeferencing positions on a road, street, rail, or river network. This is closely related to street addresses, but uses an explicit measurement of distance rather than the much less reliable surrogate of street address numbers. Linear referencing combines the name of the link with an offset distance along the link from a fixed point, most often an intersection. Cadastral maps. Cadastral maps are defined as the map of land ownership in an area maintained for the purposes of taxing land or of creating a public record of ownership. Parcels of land are uniquely identified by number or code and are reasonably persistent through time. The public land survey system in the US and similar systems in other countries provide a method of georeferencing linked to the cadastre. Latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude is the most comprehensive and powerful method of georeferencing. It provides for a very fine spatial resolution. It allows distance to be computed between pairs of locations. Latitude is the angular distance in degrees, minutes, and seconds of a point north or south of the equator. Lines of latitude are often referred to as parallels. Longitude is the angular distance in degrees, minutes, and seconds of a point east or west of the prime or Greenwich meridian. Lines of longitude are often referred to as meridians. The Earth's shape. The Earth is slightly flattened, such that the distance between the poles is about one part in 300 less than the diameter at the equator. 
the Earth is more accurately modeled as a spheroid or ellipsoid rather than a sphere. Projections and coordinates. There are many reasons for wanting to project the Earth's surface onto a plane, rather than deal with the curved surface. Reasons include the paper used to output GIS maps is flat. Flat maps are scanned and digitized to create GIS databases. Square and rectangular rasters are flat. The Earth has to be projected to see all of it at once. And it's much easier to measure distance on a plane. Distortions. Any projection must distort the Earth in some way. Two types of projections are important in GIS. The conformal property Shapes of small features are preserved, or in other words, scales of the projections in x and y directions are always equal. The equal area property. Shapes are distorted, but areas measured on the map are always in the same proportion to areas on the Earth's surface. Both types of these projections will generally distort distances. Map projections. Cylindrical. Cylindrical projections are analogous to wrapping a cylinder of paper around the earth, projecting the earth's features onto it, and then unwrapping the cylinder. Conical. is analogous to wrapping a sheet of paper around the earth in a cone. Asmuthal or planar. Analogous to touching the earth with a sheet of flat paper. Cylindrical projections. The Mercator projection is the best known cylindrical projection. The cylinder is wrapped around the equator. The projection is conformal. At any point, the scale is the same in both directions. The shape of small features is preserved. Features in high latitudes are significantly enlarged. Conic projections are conceptualized as the result of wrapping a cone of paper around the Earth. Standard parallels occur where the cone intersects the Earth. The Lambert conformal conic projection is commonly used to map North America. On this projection, lines of latitude appear as arcs of circles and lines of longitude are straight lines radiating from the North Pole. The Unprojected Projection The Cylindrical Equidistant Projection is a type of cylindrical projection. It is neither conformal nor equal area. As latitude increases, lines of longitude are much closer together on Earth, but are the same distance apart on the projection. The Universal Transverse Mercator Projection is a type of cylindrical projection. It is implemented as an internationally standard coordinate system. It was intentionally devised as a military standard it uses, uses a system of 60 zones. It is called the transverse mercator because the cylinder is wrapped around the poles, not the equator. Converting geo-references. GIS applications often require conversion of projections and ellipsoids. These are standard functions in popular GIS packages. Street addresses must be converted to coordinates for mapping and analysis using geocoding functions. Place names can be converted to coordinates using gazetteers.
The Global Positioning System, or GPS, allows direct, accurate measurement of latitude and longitude. GPS can produce accuracy of 10 meters from a single cheap unit. Differential GPS is capable of submeter accuracy and sub-centimeter accuracy if observations are averaged over long periods. What is the Global Positioning System? The GPS consists of a system of 24 satellites, each orbiting the Earth every 12 hours, on distinct, distinct orbits at a height of 20,200 kilometers, and transmitting radio pulses at very precisely timed intervals. Position in a receiver is determined by precise calculations from the satellite signals, the known positions of the satellites, and the velocity of light. Position in the three dimensions, latitude, longitude, and elevation, requires that at least four satellites are above the horizon. Accuracy depends on the number of satellites and their positions. A spatial reference system, or coordinate reference system, is a framework used to precisely measure locations on the surface of Earth as coordinates. It is thus the application of the abstract mathematics of coordinate systems and analytic geometry to geographic space. A geodetic datum, or geodetic system, is a global datum reference or reference frame for precisely representing the position of locations on Earth by means of geodetic coordinates. A standard datum specification consists of several parts, a model for Earth's shape and dimensions, such as a reference ellipsoid or geoid, an origin at which the ellipsoid or geo geo geoid is tied to a known location on or inside Earth, and multiple control points that have been precisely measured from the origin and monumented. Then the coordinates of other places are measured from the nearest control point through surveying. Because the ellipsoid or geoid differs between datums, along with their origins and orientation in space, the relationship between coordinates referred to one datum and coordinates referred to another datum is undefined and can only be approximated. GISP Unofficial Study Guide, Section 102 Understanding of Representation of Discrete Features and Continuous Phenomena in GIS Discrete Features A feature that has a definable boundary, begins and ends, for example, a highway or a lake. Continuous Phenomena each location is a measure of something, for example, elevation, or the measure of a concentration level, or the measure of a value in terms of a fixed point. GISP Unofficial Study Guide, Section 103, Knowledge of Earth Geometry and Its Approximations. A geoid is the shape that the surface of the oceans would take under the influence of Earth's gravitation and rotation, in the absence of other influences such as winds and tides. A geoid is used to reference heights by registering ocean's water level at coastal places using tide gauges. This is how the mean sea level is determined. A reference ellipsoid is a mathematically defined surface that approximates the geoid. The truer figure of the Earth 
or other planetary body. An oblate ellipsoid fits the geoid to a first order approximation. It is formed when an ellipse is rotated about its minor axis. A sphere, as can be seen from the dimensions of the Earth ellipsoid, the semi-major axis and the semi-minor axis differ only by a bit more than 21 kilo kilometers. The first or direct geodetic problem, given a point in terms of its coordinates and the direction or azimuth, and distance from that point to a second point, determine the coordinates of the second point. The second or inverse geodetic problem, given two points, determine the azimuth and length of the line, a straight line, arc, or geodesic that connects them. GIS Peace Unofficial Study Guide, Section 104, Knowledge of Basic Geomatics and Relationships to GIS. Geomatics is the science and technology of gathering, analyzing, interpreting, distributing, and using geographic information. This includes surveying, mapping, remote sensing, GIS, and GPS. Geomatics is the science and technology of gathering, analyzing, interpreting, distributing, and using geographic or spatially referenced information. Geomatics encompasses a broad range of disciplines, including surveying, mapping, remote sensing, GIS, and GPS. The Global Positioning System is the only fully functional global navigation satellite system. It utilizes a constellation of at least 24 medium Earth orbit satellites that transmit precise microwave signals. The system enables a GPS receiver to determine its location, speed, direction, and time. Other similar systems are the Russian GLONASS, the upcoming European Galileo positioning system, the proposed Compass Navigation System of China, and the IRNSS of India.